So guys, today we have a great video on Dividend Kings. If you don't know what that is, it is companies that have paid dividends for longer than 50 years. And today we have four that I picked from each a different sector. So we have very good diversification when it comes to these four picks. But first, before we get into that, I wanna say thank you guys so much for getting this channel above 700 subscribers. I think <clears throat> I think we jumped, jumped like 60 subs in one day, which is completely amazing, guys. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to beat that anytime soon, but thank you guys so much for everything you've been doing. Also, real quick, I ha I'm a part of a Discord chat that I'm a mentor in. It's called Investing with Homies. It's absolutely free. If you want to be a part of this Discord chat, go to the pinned comment on top and click the link and go to start here and introduce yourself and you will become a tier one homie and you'll you'll be a part of this uh, fast growing community we have growing we have of investors. I am one of the mentors in there. I think there's about four others. So yeah, take advantage of that, guys. Anyway, guys, when it comes to dividend stocks and when it comes to um, the safety of them, generally, the longer they paid it, the more safe the stock would be. Uh, that is definitely a oversimplification of, of it. But yeah, companies generally don't want to lose their dividend aristocrat or dividend king um, name tags. They don't, they don't want to lose that trophy that they won because a lot of investors look for this whenever they're looking at dividend paying stocks they look up annualized payout the dividend yield payout ratio the growth um over the last you know one to five years of the um dividend itself and not a, let alone just the stock price but yeah and i have for you four dividends that have been paying been consecutively paying and growing not just paying, but growing dividends for over 55 years, guys. Now that is close to a lifetime for a lot of people. And I think every single one on this list right now is technically below average. They're, they're paying, they're not paying, but the price of the stock per share is below average. So um, by all means, this is a good time to get in. You need to do more research. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just some random guy on YouTube um, with cool dreads and a big beard. So uh, yeah, so go ahead, smash that like button for uh, this caveman look I got going on and let's get back to the video. So if I would have $1,000 and I wanted to really diversify my portfolio um, and I only wanted four positions, this is an example of how you would do it. Um, four positions, $250 in each, that is, of course, if you have fractional shares. Um, if not, you know, it won't be exactly 250, but uh, so yeah, so 250 each, and you would have it diversified in four different sectors and four different size companies. And just overall, you would have a really good play on there. Now you could even do that on a smaller, you know, you can do um, eight companies, you can do 10 companies, or it doesn't really matter. You can do as many companies as you want. This is just an example of what you can do with $1,000. So the first stock we have on our list here is 3M. And this is in the industrial sector, but it also, it's a conglomerate of industrials. Um, not just industrials, but it has other sectors that it does play into, but its main is industrial. And currently, right now, we are trading below average as you can see we are slightly below average uh which could be a good time to get into uh, is now and our market cap on here is 85 billion which is a relatively good size market cap a good size company it's a large cap company so the dividend yield on the on here is 4.02 percent annualized payout would be five dollars and 88 cents a year or one dollar and 47 cents per payout so every quarter you get a dollar 47 per share you own um the payout ratio is 67.96 percent which does fall in the safe zone for a payout ratio and for the last year the annualized growth of the 
dividend for the last year is 2.08%. And for the last three years is 7.75%. So that's it's pretty big for the last three years. 3M develops, mark, manufactures, and markets various, various products worldwide. It operates through four business segments being safety and industrial, transportation elect and electronics, healthcare, and consumer. Um, they have post-it notes, they have tape, they have pins, they have safety gear. They have quite a lot of um, things that they are in, like quite a lot of products that they have in. So it's not just one particular market that they're in. That's why, that's kind of why I said it's a conglomerate of, you know, different areas. Next on our list, we have Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. This is in the healthcare sector. This is also trading slightly below average for the short term. It a, has a market cap of 391 billion, which is pretty big. And Johnson & Johnson is one of the safest companies out there, especially for dividends. Um, very, very safe company. Now its dividend yield is 2.74. Annualized payout of the dividend is 4.04 cents or, or $1.01 .01 every quarter. Uh, the payout ratio is 59.28%, which is in the safe zone. And the dividend growth is 57 years. Like I, like I said though, all four on this list has paid dividends over the past uh, 55 years has consecutively grown their dividends for 55 years or more. Now the annualized growth is 7.73% for the past year, which is pretty big. And for the past three years it's 6.76%. So these are relatively big, you know, jumps in, um, in annualized payout. Now, if you don't know what this company does, it, it is in the healthcare sector. Um, this company was founded in 1887. Wow, I didn't, I didn't realize that. I knew it was, it was around for a while, but I, just, I didn't know uh, when it, it started. But it researches, develops, manufactures, and sells various products in the healthcare field worldwide. It operates in three segments, consumer, pharmaceutical, and medical devices. Um, the, like I said, this is one of the safest dividend stocks that you can get to date. Uh, I think it has like a safety score of like 97 on the Morningstar or, or uh, Simply Safe Dividends or something like that. Now, now this next stock you may not realize, but it is Lowe's. Yes, Lowe's has consecutively paid their dividends for over 55 years and you'll find out exactly how much in a minute. It is a dividend king. Remember, dividend king is 50 years. Dividend aristocrat is 25 years. Um, so let's see, right now, it is, slate, it is trading slightly below average in the short term. Um, we had a, a large drop. It'd have been nice to get in here at the lows, but, but hey, um, hindsight is always clear, right? But um, it has a market cap of 86 billion, which is, is nice. It is trading slightly um, lower in the short term. So it has a dividend yield of 2.01%. Annualized payout of $2.20 per year or 55 cents every quarter per share. Uh, the payout ratio is 38.80%, which is also, you know, a lot safer than it's also in the safe zone. Um, and the dividend growth on this bad boy is 57 years. Uh, when I found out that Lowe's was a, a dividend king, I didn't realize how long they had been paying dividends for and, and how good the payout ratio was and all that and it really shocked me and check this out guys the annualized payout i'm sorry the annualized growth for the last year was 6.80 6 percent now the annualized growth for the last three years is 13.12 percent now that is a big jump that is nice i probably will be looking into getting getting into a position in lows because i didn't even realize um that they were a, a dividend stock and I actually go to Lowe's a lot. <laughs> I do projects around the house. Uh, it's consumer cyclical and also known as consumer discretionary. Um, like I said, this is trading below average. And if you don't know what Lowe's is, Lowe's is a home improvement retailer in the US, Canada, and Mexico. And they offer a line of their own tools as well as other tools. And they also sell building materials and you can also get contractors through them. So they are somewhat of a contractor. Um, the general contractor in their self. 
Now guys, next we have big old Coca-Cola. And this is the only stock that I own on this list. And we are trading below average, uh, quite a bit below average, actually over the, past, over the long term and the short term. Now, Coca-Cola is a consumer staples product, meaning in hard times, people will still be buying this product. Um, the dividend yield, I, well, first of all, it's $198 billion. It's $198 billion market cap, which is pretty, pretty damn big. Anyway, um, the dividend yield is 3.68%, which is relatively good. Annualized payout is $1.64 a year or 41 cents per quarter per payout. You know what I'm saying? Per share. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and annualized payout, I'm sorry, the payout ratio is 69% which is in the safe zone. Now, the dividend growth for this bad boy, 57 years. The lowest one on this list is 57 years. I think all three, three of them was 57 and one was in the 60s. Actually, so, so you can see how uh, people are really attracted to these stocks. I own 10 shares. My average cost is $50. I'm actually down 43 bucks. I do get great dividend captures from this stock. Um, so the annualized growth over the last year is 2.50% and over the last three years is 3.48%. It's a lot less of a growth over Lowe's, Johnson & Johnson, and 3M, but it is still growth. That's why it's on this list for uh, the companies growing consecutively. That's why I say Dividend King. Now, if you don't know what Coca-Cola is, uh, founded in 1886. The Coca-Cola company is a non-alcoholic beverage company which engages in the manufacture, market, and sale of non-alcoholic beverages, which includes sparkling soft drinks, water, enhanced water, and sports drinks, juice, dairy, I didn't realize dairy, plant-based beverages, tea, coffee, energy drinks. Awesome. So we all know what Coke is. We've all had a Coke before, I'm sure, anyway. And uh, this is like brand rec like this is a, a good company to be in because it has so much brand recognition like when you see when even the lettering like the style they white they write their letters um you know that's coca-cola the font that they use you know it's coca-cola the color the can you know it's coke and that is good branding like that's something you want in a company um they stand out amongst their peers but guys look that was four um dividend stocks that are Dividend Kings. Um, if you guys want another video like this on Dividend Kings, go ahead, let me know in the comments below. And I say if we can get to 30 likes on this video within the first three days, that's 10 likes a day. If we can get 30 likes within the first three days, I'll make a secondary to this one. I'll probably do more, I'll do 10 if that's what you guys want. And I might go a little more in depth, it just all depends on how you guys give me feedback on here once again thank you guys so much for getting me to 70 uh 700 subscribers um let's get to 750 by the end of the month uh i appreciate you guys so much this is is it's awesome don't forget to check out the discord you know i try to give you the best content and as much value as possible i do have a free course that will be coming out later in the year um on the stock market it will be free and uh i'm i'm they're real excited to be able to give it to y'all. Uh, anyway, guys, look, I got to get out of here. So, guys, go ahead and like this video. Smash the like button because, for the YouTube algorithm because it really helps this channel more than you guys know. Um, also, if you're still watching this and you haven't hit the red subscribe button yet, go ahead, hit it, turn it gray so you can join this little family we got going on. And if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. Guys, look, I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy the very little bit of time we have left on quarantine. All right, guys, y'all have a great day.